Ugh, prom. It's like the Olympics of high school. You wait four years, three people have a good time, and everybody else gets to live on with shattered dreams. Are you looking forward to prom? Um, yes. Oh, yeah, every day. For those who don't know what prom is, what's Disney's prom? Uh, Disney's prom is a, uh, is a look at uh, what goes on behind the scenes uh, in the lives of a bunch of uh, high schoolers and middle schoolers, no, mostly high schoolers, and uh, it's, it's a look behind the scenes of what's going on leading up to the big dance of prom. You know, there's a uh, there's perfect couple, which I'm a part of. Uh, there's the cheerleader who's got the, uh, like, she's totally got prom queen on the lockdown and her, her boyfriend, obviously, prom king. Uh, then you have the, the, uh, the freshman class. And so you see the whole wide range of what's going on. And then, of course, the guy who can't get a date at all. So you just see, you see the whole gamut of, of high schoolers just freaking out about prom. <laughs> And what was the audition process like for Justin Wilkes? Oh man, it, it's funny, I actually, the first audition that I had for the movie Prom was for uh, Cameron Monaghan's part, which was originally, uh, no, I forgot what the original name was, it wasn't, it wasn't Corey what, that it is now, but I originally auditioned for his part, then in the room they said, Wait outside. We're gonna bring out the uh, the sides for uh, for the character of Lloyd. It's a new addition, to Ed, and we think you'd be perfect for it. So I went out, read for that. They brought me back in for that uh, like two weeks later, and then a week after that audition, I uh, met with Joe Nussbaum, the director for Lloyd. And after that audition, which went like really really well, uh, actors always think their auditions go terrible, but I thought. Yes, this went okay. Uh, so then after after that, I think it was almost three weeks later, they had the screen test. And in the screen test, they said, hey, we want you to read this other character, Justin. So I was like, oh, oh all right, sure, sure, tell me about Justin. So they gave me a little bit of the backstory. And uh, so I, I, on the day of the test, I went in early in the morning and read for, for Lloyd. Then in the afternoon I read for Justin. So it was, it was a toss up between like, oh, which one is he gonna get? And then, uh, see after the test, they had, they had 10 days to decide what they were gonna do. And on the 10th day, found out, we want you for the part of Justin. <laughs> so I think all in all, it was almost a two month process. Yeah, not very glamorous, it's not where you go in and you audition and they go, hey, we love you, you have the part already. They, you wait and wait and wait, but it's, it's so worth it. And how can you relate to your character, Justin Watson? Justin is the, uh, is the perfect boyfriend by every definition of the word. You know, he's very, he's very caring, he wears a sleeve, sort of, he's completely invested in his relationship with May, played by Yin Chang. And he, he and I are very similar in that respect. I, whenever I'm in a relationship, I try to be very understanding of whatever they're going through because I understand that everyone's going to go through different things in life. But it's all about just sacrifices. You know, you can't you can't have an ego when you're in a relationship. It's got to be you got to feed off of each other. And Justin definitely feeds off of May as I feed off of whatever I'm in a relationship with. And, I just I try to make it as fun and exciting as possible and just easy. I try to make it easy. And Justin is definitely trying to make it everything very, very easy for me. Yes. One and the same. And um, prom has been compared to the high school musical of 2011. How does it feel to be it has? Of, like compared to that? Yeah. Oh wow, I didn't know that. Cause we're not we're not a musical. Everyone, when it first came out, everyone was asking, oh, so it, it's, it's musical, right? No, no, we don't. There's no, there's no singing and dancing by, uh, by the actors while they're acting. You know, there's, we, we dance at prom, but uh, to be compared to a franchise as successful as High School Musical, that's pretty freaking awesome. I, I'll take it. If, yeah, I mean, that, it launched the careers of so many actors that are still working today, it's just, it's, Disney is a great, great launching pad, and they, they know exactly what they're doing with their, with their marketing campaigns and everything, and so if, if we become the High School Musical of 2011, I, 
I will celebrate. It would be awesome. It'd be really cool. And if you were to take one of your castmates to prom, who would it be and why? If I were to take one of my castmates to prom, I... I honestly, I would go with, uh, with, with Yin, who plays my girlfriend in the movie. I mean, she... Her off-screen chemistry is the same as, as the on-screen. Uh, we, we just... We completely just click, and she's a lot of fun. A lot of fun. She's so out there and, and crazy, but I, I match her just point for point, because I, I I get into my own when, when I'm out on the dance floor or anything, and she just she likes to have a good time, and that's what I'm all about. And why should people see prom this spring? The better question is, why shouldn't they see prom? I mean, why wouldn't you go and see a movie that's got a character in there for, for everyone? I think I think what's really cool about the movie is that the uh, the older generation who takes like their kids to see the movie and everything, they're going to find the archetype that they were in high school, and I think it's very, very relatable. That's what I think is really going to, that's why I think a lot of people should see it, because it's it's relatable, it's current, and it's it's a good time. I saw the final cut already, and I can tell you, it's, it is a good movie. And uh, since our website is all about secrets, can you share one secret about yourself? It can be small, it can be big, anything. Uh, a secret? Um, I have a few secrets, I, I guess. Um, I, I sing. I don't know if that's much of a secret, but I mean, if, you, if you look me up on YouTube, you can find some pretty old videos of me singing. Uh, what other secrets do I have? Um, I'm a huge video game nerd. And Apple. Apple products are my kryptonite. I subscribe to a website that updates me whenever Apple has something in the works. So, I mean, I might, I might look like I'm Rico Suave or whatever, but I'm a total nerd. So I guess that's a secret. Wrong. The cut is wrong, the color is wrong, the fabric is wrong. Women. Women?